Okay, so it's Thursday afternoon now, what is it, about half past two, something like that. The shadow of the building is starting to come across the roof, which is the, the time it gets to there, that's the end of the sun on the roof. So I'd say it's probably around its peak, but I'm not sure we've had a valid test today because parts of the day have been hazy. It's not been what I'd call crystal clear blue skies, if you know what I mean. So we may not have had quite so much direct sun on the roof as possibly anticipated. We have got the outside temperatures, that, that's still there. But I've had no doors or windows open. Um, that's been on full, that's been on the first setting. And the temperature gauges are showing 25 on that one, 28 on that one. It's usually in reality somewhere between the two and that one's probably more realistic saying 27 so we've held it down despite it being very warm outside if this was round the other grow room we'd be up 30 degrees now and everything would have to be on you know the the um, hydrofogger would be on flat out the inlet and the in, uh, extractor fan would be on and they'd be on for seven or eight hours on a day like this that's a lot of electricity so there's quite a saving here. Um, that's offset by the heater needing more time to maintain my temperature when it's cold, simply because the volume of air is about three times as big. So the little heater to raise that one degree needs to be on longer. But then, you know, the winter months are shorter than the summer months. So, you know, hopefully the overall year will show a saving. Well it would have done if all the prices hadn't gone up to silly. Um, anyway, I will do another update around this time tomorrow, which is supposed to be even hotter, and then put the two together. So I won't post this today on Thursday, I'll post it with the additional bit on Friday, so that we've got a reasonable picture of how this place performs in what will probably be, you know, one of our hottest periods. Might not be the hottest, but it's certainly going to be one of them. And uh, yeah, we'll pick it up again tomorrow. Okay, so yesterday, <coughs> at the peak time, which was when I filmed, um, later on I did actually open the window and the door and put the larger fan on. Um, the window and the door stayed open for less than two minutes and dropped the temperature three degrees and the humidity a bit as well but that is easily recovered with the, you know, with Hurricane Hector. So basically, that was good. As far as I'm concerned, this is manageable without getting extra kit and worrying unduly, shall we say. The only thing I would say is during that peak time when the sun is directly on the roof for that period of time, it did go a little bit hazy yesterday, so I'm not quite sure that was a full test. It's often the case when you get heat with humidity, you get a haze. Uh, it's reasonably <laughs> obvious, isn't it, <laughs> if you think about it. Um, so I'm going to do the same again today, wait for that peak time, and then I'll film again and basically finish this video off and post it later today. Um, but yeah, I didn't do bad in here yesterday at all. You know, given that the outside temperature wasn't a lot less than it was in here. And the other good thing is I got a big load of washing dry out on the washing line, that ugly beast. Now what I've done with that, because I can't stand the sight of it basically, is it folds down into like a pole and I got a green cover over it, which you may have noticed in other videos, because I'm not putting up with that as part of the garden. It's just ugly. But I've got another load of washing to go out today and that'll do me for about a month <laughs> I mean I have enough clothes that I can last an awful long time you know so uh, yeah two lots of washing done dry and put away in two days is good stuff we don't normally get good enough weather to do that and then I'll put that ugly thing away again until such times as we have another go <coughs> right all I've got to do this morning before the heat builds up is water the outside stuff Bonsai have to be every day now, and if we get real heat today, which, are, which we're expecting, I may well water them again this evening, because I won't have time tomorrow morning. So, um, yeah, I've just got to water the outside stuff. Quite honestly, we should get 
Unfortunately, the Malvern show tomorrow, that area is due for some heavy rain and possible thunderstorms tomorrow, which is not so good. Um, but the orchid show, that part of the show, is actually indoors. You know, if it's raining, it'll take the edge off of looking around other parts of the show, obviously. <laughs> but um, anyway, we'll see how that goes. And then on Sunday, there could well be some rain down here which we need again yet again we've had so little rain lately that you know the normal plants in the garden could do with a drink so uh, not just the things in pots you know so anyway i will do another update at that uh, period again today and then get this posted later today see you next time okay so it's around the same time as i filmed yesterday you can see the shadow again is just starting to creep across now the one thing that's obviously different in this grow room to the old one is that unless i manually open the door and the window there is no air change yeah so basically all i can do is circulate the air i've got except for when the, the um, humidifier comes on and that has a dramatic cooling effect to the air that's trapped inside but that's actually a bonus rather than the downside if you see what I mean so I'm currently holding at around 26 27 degrees again I haven't opened the door or the window and I haven't turned the big fan on so I'm simulating what it would be like in here if I went out for the day which is what I'm going to do tomorrow um, only tomorrow I don't think we're going to get the same sort of heat who knows um, but the sky is a quite a bit clearer today there was a lot of haze yesterday so I think this is going to be a better test that's on full and has been for the last few hours um, the humidifier cuts in frequently. I just need to, while, I, while it's on my mind, so I've just got a load of junk in here. I just need to check that I've actually got water in here while I think of it because I'm out all day tomorrow. And yeah, it's about half full, which would be more than enough. Um, around the other place, when I used to have the extractor and inlet fan on and the humidifier was on virtually constantly, to replace the humidity that they were removing that used to over half of that would be used in a day now I topped that up last time I used the RO uh, unit which was uh, probably 10 days ago something like that and it's down to half and we've had warm weather so it's not using anywhere near the amount of water it used to use which is good um, I don't actually put RO water in it anymore um, now that I'm on a meter, that's a bit wasteful. Um, I just use the filter jug. But, whoop, talk of the devil, and on it comes. So, at the moment, that would be cooling the air that it sucks in. Now, it doesn't stay on for a huge amount of time, but any air that gets drawn into that comes out a lot cooler than it went in. And it's at floor level. So that would be the cooler air anyway. Quite honestly, I doubt if there's any hot or cold spots in here because of the circulating fan. But I think this is possibly as bad as it's going to get, which is pretty good stuff with a single layer of shade netting on the roof and nothing on the sides. And I'm pretty happy with that. And on days when I'm here, if it does start to creep up a bit, I can always open that door and window for a few minutes and that, and that not only changes the air um, the door does get opened and shut quite frequently during the day it's called letting the cats in and out one of which is delighting in playing games at the moment he keeps walking up to the door and then turning around and going back in again and then when he's outside he walks up to the door you open it and he walks down the garden so he's just playing games at the moment but uh, nonetheless, the door is open for a bit now and again, uh, quite a few times a day. It doesn't change the air, but it does let some of the air out and some fresh air in, you know, even though it's only for a short time. So there we go. I think that's a reasonable test on two of the, well, certainly the two hottest days we've had this year so far.
And also I got my washing done. Yay! <laughs> That'll be like, oh, I can remember, you go on holiday in Spain and you, you put your towels out in the sun to dry and when they've dried you can stand them up in the corner, they're like cardboard. <laughs> Horrible, all scratchy. Uh, anyway, I've got two lots of washing done in this heat as well, so I'm over the moon. Normally that would be draped around the house trying to air dry. So, uh, yeah. Um, I was just going to say I'm filming through a fog now at the moment. I don't know whether that actually showed up. <laughs> Sorry about that. So I'm happy that my test shows this, what it would be like on a warm day if I was away all day. And that's as bad as it, as it should ever get. So, yeah, good stuff. I'm certainly glad I put that shade netting on, though, that layer of shade netting, for two reasons. One, to reflect that sun back to stop so much heat coming in and also the light. I've now got what I would call a much more tolerable light level for those top shelves. So uh, yeah, all in all, a good test. Well pleased with that. Now I'm gonna get the big circulating fan on, which is very simply a matter of winding the thermostat up to above 30 odd to call for heat, and then remember to turn the heater off. And then that just starts the fan because it thinks it wants heat. Um, and then I just have to remember to turn the heater on and change the thermostat later in the day. But yeah, that, that's just on the low setting like it was yesterday, because it is quite powerful. So uh, yeah, a good test, well pleased. I can now go away for the day, like tomorrow, I'll be leaving here about six in the morning, I'll be back seven or eight at night, I'll be away all day, and I'm reasonably confident everything will be fine while I'm gone. So, good stuff. Cats won't like it, because they'll be shut in all day. After their freedom, they certainly don't like being shut in. But still, that's, that's how it is. See you next time. Thanks for dropping by.